I use a dub, I'ma win, I won't lose with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, uh, turn the knob, camera assist, I'm incredible. Yeah, came for the dollars, call it vegetable. Uh, can I get the dash? Can I catch me broke? Ooh, can I get the dash? Can I catch me woke? Uh, your whole team is no competition. Boy, I did it by myself, it's a solo mission. Up the charts, I'm a fool dog. Turn the whole field to a schoolyard. Bunch of students ain't eating around here. I'm the goat, little man. Then I made it. We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, 
that allows you to fool the defense so often. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off at about the 31. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank but you. here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may... Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. He's picked off just shy of midfield. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. So after the INT, here's Wins. He's got the hookup here to Deshaun Jackson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A well-executed 22-yard game. To throw his wins. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No gain on the screen there at second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Down to the 25. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Shotgun now for Wentz. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. First quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Yeah, he's got to guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand, put it behind you, keep pressing forward. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Now this is Le'Veon Bell with a reception. The 20. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Le'Veon Bell, 50 yards. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. Now after the touchdown, here's Bunker on to kick it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Two yards on the pickup. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. Quick throw out wide by Wentz. And he's brought down after a very nice game. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first and ten, it's Sanders. They'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. 
The tackle made at the 44-yard line. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Chiefs seven, Eagles nothing. The last run got six. Now second and four. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 36. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And they run the option here on first and ten. They'll throw out wide, complete to Sanders. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Working from the gun, Wentz. And he finds his target. It's Marquise Goodwin. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. little surprise here on third and one. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. The Eagles into the red zone for the first time. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So that now two consecutive drives that have ended in interceptions. You wonder if he's trying to do a little too much out there. Oh, I like where you're going with that, that maybe he's pressing it a little bit, trying to be too fine with his throws, or maybe overestimating his arm. It could be a combination of all of those things. In any event, he's got to get it figured out in a hurry. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. On play action, it's Mahomes rolling to his left. That's who is running back, Edwards Alaire. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A minute 55 left to go in the first half of play. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 29-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. And the first down, Chiefs. On first down, Mahomes. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Now Bell. That one goes for 24 yards. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play. Leads to second and goal. On second and goal, Mahomes flushed out right. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. He's forced out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. 
to the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Butker's kick here is good. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. At their own 25-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And it's caught inside the 30. Patrick Mahomes, he can do everything seemingly. And that time, he just reared back and let it fly. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Bell. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. That's on Colecchio Semele, the guard. Working from the gun, Mahomes. His pass caught at the four. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. And he'll bang that one through. Chiefs 17, Eagles nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try to put points on the board. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They fake the give. Now wins. They'll roll him out right. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off around. 
down to 27. And he'll get this back down to about the 12 yard line. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turn to block, find a spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. And Duke Riley will get credit for the tackle. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Seven yards on the play, and they're going to have a third down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. This will be caught at about the six. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Four yards on the play, and he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Le'Veon Bell, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Chiefs use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And his kick is good, and flags fly as well. Some frustration showing through right now. This is going to be a roughing call. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 21. He'll start with a handoff to Sanders. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. On play action, it's Wentz. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And we do talk a lot about how the tight end position has changed in the NFL. Here's a great example. It used to be that they were linemen who occasionally caught passes. Now they're wide receivers who occasionally block people. And right here, this isn't tight end speed. It's definitely wide receiver speed. And his top speed, as computed by Next Gen Stats, not bad. He was pushing 20 miles an hour. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. the eight-yard line before going out. Jalen Rager was the intended receiver. And just a simple tap pass, but it, it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line, of touchdown, Eagles! So they will get on the scoreboard no, here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Now Wentz going to lead the Eagles up to go for two. They'll turn to Sanders. They're going to try and run. And he will get into the end zone for the two points. And it's not over yet as they're back within two scores. But well, still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure. But that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready. Because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. 
To throw again on second down. Mahomes. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Jalen Mills. That is the play they needed in a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. No doubt about it. They did what they had to do to give themselves a chance to get back into the game. They turned it over to the offense. They are now in charge. Now they need to execute. On first down, Sanders. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. A loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11. And now a play fake. Wentz sliding out of the pocket. His throw caught at about the five. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Here's Scott. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A five-yard touchdown run. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. And that almost makes it a brand new ball game. Now it's a one-score affair after they get the two. And you have to know they were holding their breath on the two-point play because they had to have it to get it within the range that you just talked about. Dialed up their two-point play. It worked. Now they're feeling like they've got a shot at this one. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Man, if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball. I said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. Now a throw for the All-Pro, Kelsey is complete. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First down, Kansas City. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line, and I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> You've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 16 yards, a first down. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. On the move to his left. He's going to take off with him. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. 36-yard line. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop them here. to throw Mahomes and this is caught that's Watkins and he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down this is Bell doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout 
as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. complete to Watkins and he's able to work it here to the eight yard line that was the ninth play of the drive and they pick up nine yards with it Edwards Alaire they'll try to run for it and he has the first down before he's tackled at the five they give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He was looking for Watkins that time, but it'll be second and goal. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. They'll try to run with Edwards Hilaire. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. And the Eagles dodge a bullet. They cover it up. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off at the 21, and the return stops at the 39-yard line. Yeah. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 39-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive, and they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. incomplete. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. They're going deep for Hill. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Picked off down at the 10. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. Energy paralyzed, I'm like a finger 11. Take a second, I'm finna send it like a parent a message. You're the best. If it ain't me, then you need you a confession. You a mess. Uh -huh, you ain't scary to me. I heard you was a leader, but that ain't apparent to me. Put dust on you like Cheetah, run up and I'm there in the scene. And I feel just like Vegeta Prince and I'm an heir to the seat. I mean, for real. Test the driver's soft so I don't even grab the wheel. That's a lot my chest, but it don't mean the man is stealing me. And I'm walking with some money, man. I mean a couple mil. <clears throat> Ew, think you need a mail. You ain't even eating while I'm feasting in the field. That's why I'm always cheesing, cause I feel like Uncle Phil. And always lose the freshman ain't half the man as well. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hell in the clock. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him 
sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hands on the clock. Just like the hands on the clock, I go back to bat when I'm doing numbers. All the mad that I'm driving the bus, so they threw me under. Heard they mad, they don't want to bust, so they boo each other. Think that they're the winning team, go losing, then they choose another. And that's okay, cause I'm competing with me, not you. I live with blessings like I can't stop sneezing, not you. Well, I hate to break above me and myself, top two. I blow away the competition like a bowl of hot soup. And there's no catch. I go and get the bag, and I'm not bringing it back. I'm like a down QB, I put the pain in the past. And if you ever had a problem, promise I didn't ask. So it's 444 in the car, my dash. I shake a big toy. Them all you went first, you last. Little boy, that's facts. I'ma grow that cash to my money. <laughs> you know what? Let me stop. <laughs> flag on the play. Yeah, yeah. That's a flag on the play. Yeah, yeah. Flag on the play. Hold up. That's a flag on the play. Let's go. Touch down. I just scored a whole bucket. bucket. I just tried to jag on the tag. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're coming off of each other, they're controlling the defensive front linebackers. Damn, get to the block. Second and 11. Now wins. And his throw here is incomplete. The 
intended receiver, Marquise Goodwin, and it's third down. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Now Wentz on third down. Well, this is caught by Jackson. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Well, fair to say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find him at the wide receiver position, and that was special there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence is right there. Sanders, and he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Wins. God damn, who the fuck is over there? Bro, where is you going? <laughs> Ain't nobody that deep. Well, I gotta play that? Damn, I gotta play that? That had a total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz got him into right protection scheme, so he doesn't get hit back. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. That was God damn. Defensively, two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Yeah, we're milking the clock online, though. On second and 12, Garoppolo. Yeah, I had. That one got tipped. I had. It brings up third. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. You don't like that. He, the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to like, protect the like that. He, but when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try to knock one away, it's difficult. I'm going to leave him open. Oh, oh, he made me pay for it. So all you're trying to do is make some play on it. And I the in the So. 
The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7 0 the score as they start first and 10. God damn, was he walking? And this one will go to the 28 yard line. Shit. If you're these receivers, you got to be the hell he's going to throw it quick on that RPO. He's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes just telepathy. You both see the same thing. And he's going to get the ball. Right. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as the tackle made at the 35 yard line. It's a gain of seven, and it'll move the chains. After yeah, one, yeah, seven nothing on EA Sports. Nothing. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now wins. Get out of that zone, boy. It's still about to suck. him to just four. Second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot. That a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling is an everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. Second down. It's Sanders. <laughs> Just before the line to game. Four yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we has them to just eat up blocks, those other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's got this up to the 45 yard line. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 45 yard line. The throw by Wentz, caught by Jackson. And he gets this inside the 35 yard line. Another nice game, 13 yards that time, and another first down.
happens a lot of the time is when you see the interception, you just kind of hang your head a little bit and you momentarily pause because you're frustrated. He shook that. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're going to have to go. I know I ain't got a good field position. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in the field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone like and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. What? It's there. Back to the air on second. It's Garoppolo. Bro, that's insane, bro. Like run. <laughs> like, God damn, he wasn't in stride. Like, like that wasn't in stride. Oh, word. My people don't run like that, though. Okay. Okay. My man literally outran my defense. 
what am I doing wrong? We know the story from special teamer to postseason hero. All he needs is a little bit of space CD, and he can do the rest. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that makes our score 17 0. Jackson now to return. Look at that shit. Is that not Deshaun Jackson? He's down at the 19. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Now, they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Another run here with Sanders. Throw the block! And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's got this up to about the 34 yard line. Be waiting for it. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Wins on the give to Sanders. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as good running gets him to about the 44. It's a game of 10. On first down, wins. Man open, it's good. I should have kept it. Should have kept going right. Midfield before being stopped just before the 35. But they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. First down. Bro, I don't remember nothing. Is this it? This ain't it. This ain't it. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Now a carry for Sanders. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. A great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left in no space to try and run. A really nice job swimming to the ball carrier. They'll go again with Sanders. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the Sure, ain't line. hitting like that. It's a first down on a gain of 10. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback. What type? Nigga, you supposed to run. You are not supposed to run to the end zone. That is not the route. That was not the route. In college, if you're going to throw the football for triple option, you've actually called that play. Second and ten here as we roll along in quarter number three from Santa Clara. Got it. Oh, no time, though. No time, though. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Winston Company with some work to do after the sack. Now to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Go oh, ahead, Carson. Go ahead, oh, yeah, Carson. Over out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. We got him. Uh oh, 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 oh. he's moving back. Got him. Wentz is going to keep it, and he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Y'all always going to make it work. Scoring on the two-yard keeper, and the Eagles get a score closer. Offensively, pretty effective option play there for the Eagles. It certainly was, and it appeared to me that the defense overshifted and overplayed the trail back, the pitch man, and almost forgot about the quarterback. In fact, they did forget about the quarterback, and he turned it into a touchdown. Taken about seven yards deep. And tackled at the 21 yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Yeah. 
The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? But hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but the loud run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see. I knew that was coming. I couldn't get back. Samuel bringing in the slant. And up to the 33rd before they're able to knock him down. Uh, 11 yards there. First down. Really can't open this season. Oh, shit. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. Oh, my. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he'll go down, and that will do it. For the third goal of action. Back down here in Santa Clara. It's oh, it was pretty long here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. On first and ten is Mostert. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. He's brought down at the 42-yard line. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Again, they'll run it with Mostert. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stops. I wonder if he holds the toe forward. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves his sticks. And we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Play fake for Moster. Now go Why are you look at that? I had to cover that for you. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and it's Damn. Kendrick Bourne, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. They've given up a few first downs right. on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. You ain't got time for that. Uh-uh. Wow. Something special there. Boy, was he moving. Well, I'm about to go West Coast. He's been using her. Here is Wishnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. I'm going to have to go West Coast. This will make it into the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21 yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. At their own 21 yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And for them to touch down their last goal around, obviously they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, you're going to do it, you don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he'll go down right at the 30 yard line. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down and about the length of the football. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. But forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and ten at the 48-yard line. Oh, no. Oh no, I saw that. Touchdown, Philadelphia. We're gonna make it work. <laughs> See if we can get it off. See if we can get it off. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the we can get it off? And now they're going to fake it. Oh. <laughs> there you have it. It's a good one. Did you dig it? Now, after the 
I can dig it. And this carries into the end zone. Yeah, and they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of win there. I have to get out of that. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And yeah, they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive. That's a no, it's a kick. No, it was that. And the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keep, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush. Pass I like rush, it, but run it. Those are guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys. I like it this close. Disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt Damn, that. Damn, you milking all line? Throwing on second down. Saw that too. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Oh, screen, screen. Pass incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Line of scrimmage again, the 37 as they line up second and 10. He's going to be wide the hell open. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Yeah, that was a quick trigger. Quick trigger. Before being taken down. And again, there are 21 yards. From the gun, a run with Moser. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. To throw on second and six. Bro, you right there. That's Samuel caught left side. We saw it coming. So get the ball down to the Eagles 19. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Fletcher Cox coming right oh, up. Oh, man, man. Loss of nine. Oh, yeah. Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted, For the wins, came in a drop on the ten. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to tighten the plan. Yeah, I got it right in the end. Ay. Now we on top, top once again. I don't want it if it ain't love. If it ain't get it away from me. Who you gon' jack if it ain't us? LABB to the bakery. Some mad that I came up. I know my granny gon' pray for me. It was just us in the vacancy. We had to get it.